Hello everybody, my name is David also known as Remember, and welcome back to another episode of Crisis Core Final Fantasy 7 Blind. Last time, we got a game over chasing Hall um, Hollander all the way up to the Genona Airport, where he's going to get away by plane more than likely. This time, we are going to hopefully redeem ourselves and make sure that that doesn't happen again. So, in order to ensure that doesn't happen, look, I have a lot more health than before. I also did a little bit of um, accessory changing. I now have the Shinra Beta on, which gives, I think, a little bit more vitality compared to the other one, and I saw the Power Wrist on. So I think that we are all more or less all good to go. Actually, what I might do, since we're here, is um, I don't think Stop Play is going to be super useful to us coming up. So I think what I might do is either... Um, They want to merge Blizzard and Blizzard, Blizzard really quickly. So, Blizzara. Blizzard, since Blizzard's already mas mastered. Um, give ourselves a stronger Blizzara. Because we have a stronger Blizzara, then we can go on ahead and put that in um, on instead of stop blade. You know, while we're at it. It's because um, since we're fighting a whole bunch of machines, I noticed that magic tended to be a little bit more um, effective in the game in in the grand scheme of things. So we're just gonna put on the mithril gloves, so that way we at least at the very least keep some of our attack boost up. I lose a lot of vitality for that. I might just keep my Shinra beta on and hope that we get these other accessory slots later. Okay. Last but not least, we just got a sword. And voila! We have our current loadout. I also got Cisne's um, DM DMV thing, so we should actually be able to proc the DMW a little bit more often now because of that. All right, Scorpion, it's time for round two. You ready for it? Are you guys ready for it? Who knows? Because I wasn't expecting to get one shot like that, to be honest, so. Activating right. combat mode. Modulating phase. Oh, that was actually a perfect time for a modulating phase to proc. But man, I'm guessing that Zack's memory just kind of play out for him. Now you can't tell me that wasn't any more perfect time to me. I got it. Because I did not take a single nick of damage from um, the uh, EMP field. All right, another modulating phase, and that blizzard's gonna land. And Geo's actually coming in. Oh, never mind. The summon might be coming in clutch here. And we got Odin. Nice. Time to use Zanten Suken. This is our first time seeing Odin outside of the, the introduction. Oh, that's a sword. That is most def definitely a sword, a fine specimen. All right, Odin, show us what you got. Now the game also makes me wonder if we're gonna fight Odin. We, we aren't gonna fight Odin just because we got him from a quest, but we didn't actually physically fight. Him. All right, how much damage is that gonna do for us? Oh no, no, Zantazuka just has a chance of instant kill. I remember. This day's a build. Okay, another summon. Okay, normally I would uh, be totally fine with um, seeing Odin's thing again, but we literally just saw it.
He's probably the weakest summon to probably get in this situation, unfortunately. As I was trying to say, he's probably the weakest summon to get in this situation just because of the fact that um, he's, um, since his skill is instant kill, it's probably not going to work on bosses nearly as well. There's probably still a percent chance, but it's much lower than like a regular mob, for example. Everybody's coming in to help. Everybody wants to catch um, Hollander. And I get a level up. Um, is this 23 now? Yeah. Okay, I got that level up back when I was uh, coming back in here. So we should... I was going to say... I'm trying. Falling apart trying. Pretty, pretty soon. Or at least that's at least the bare minimum that I'm hoping for. Ooh, tail laser. I guarded it. All right, last fire should do the trick. We got a vital sash. But yeah, I'm guessing that that airship right there is actually Hollander's right there. Like Zach had gotten clipped up by so many different distractions that I'm surprised that he even made it this far. Hollander must be that way. Man, enough's enough. That's far enough. Yeah. He's gonna jump off and hit the get his ride. Really? You sure? Hey! What is he? I was gonna say his ride's right there. Oh, not even like actual rides. The Should people have known. People with wings. Mission you... failed. This goes on your permanent record. Uh, uh. Huh? Sephiroth? Long time no see. Let the Turks take care of the rest. I was on my way to Modeoheim, but I heard you were in the area. Lucky me. The situation is not resolved. Genesis copies have been sighted around the world. The world? That can't be. We wiped out those Genesis copies. Did Genesis really die? Uh. They've been sighted in Midgar as well. I see. The slums too. Aerith. Permission to return. Granted. So Seth Roth uh, was uh, yeah. looking at Adam Take like, care. like you, you got a girlfriend. I know. Okay, I see you. Hey, what's going on in Modeohan? The device Hollander was using has been stolen. Genesis. Probably. We'll meet again soon. Hopefully you're not a psychopath by then. I'll hold you to that. No, it feels so weird to see Sephiroth actually like being relatively like having a personality. Cause it, it just seems like in most of his other media where he's depicted, he's kind of a lunatic. My friend, your desire is the bringer of life, the gift of the goddess. Oh, a dumb apple. Legend shall speak of sacrifice at world's end. The wind sails over the water's surface. Quietly, but surely. Isn't that the area kind of where Sephiroth and Jill and... Um, Genesis we're all messing around with. Oh, that was the end of the chapter. Sweet. Which means that we can make a new save. I think the lesson here is that I should always be making saves. No matter, no matter the cost. All right, let's head to the slums. What if Aerith, Aerith's going to be wearing a new outfit? Hmm? 
I thought I felt some kind of presence. Was it just my imagination? Oh. <laughs> Is that a good good one? Because it doesn't have Angel's face on it. Oh no, it does. It does. I lied. An Angel copy? Why doesn't the Angel copy still exist? Homie's dead. Or should be. Unless if they went to go gather his cells, maybe, because he was perfect copy like Polander was saying would Angeal be the device that's stolen I'm trying to make sense of it all was it protecting us yeah probably oh no Looks like it's degrading. Poor thing. Does this mean Angeal is out there too? Angeal probably is degrading now with how much damage that Zack like suffered for him. It was so I don't know. Sad. What do you come here to do? So, a flower wagon. Let's make one. Wait, we're just gonna. We're yeah. just gonna drop that? Don't worry. Can you hear me? Stay right where you are. I love their dynamics I'm... so much. I'll take care of things. So, that flower wagon, let's do it. So we're finally going to build the flower wagon this time? Come on, Zach, this way. Uh, yeah, um, hey, Aerith. When the wagon's done, you're going to go sell flowers above the plate too, right? Yeah, but I'm still a little scared, so... First, I'll fill the slums full of flowers. Oh, come on, Aerith. When you go above, I'll go with you. There's no need to be scared. Thanks, Zack. All right, let's get started on that wagon then. I'll go gather the materials. Aerith, you wait here. Okay. Behave yourself. So it can actually sit up there. That's cool. So we're going to go build a flower wagon instead of finding the figuring out like what's going on with the Genesis copies in Midgar. Or, you know, that actually be what's totally happening here. Oh, there's more of you. Well, don't just stand there. Do something. Oh, no, I got silence. These guys are actually incredibly squishy, all things considered. Why do you think everything is squishy? Well, what what are these things? The new automated mobile weapon. They automatically detect and attack monsters. Arms development deployed these to Midgar as an anti-Genesis copy measure. These new models were, were able to eliminate most of the copies inside Midgar, apparently. Hmm, that's pretty impressive. Well, why the heck was I attacked then? Can't they tell the difference between soldier operatives and monsters? Currently, no. Well, that's annoying. They'll fix it eventually. By the way, Song, I'm annoyed with you too. You were spying on Aerith again, weren't you? 
Silent treatment again. If you want, if you want to go play with Aerith, you're welcome to do so. I'm just fulfilling my duties as a Turk. Hey, I'm not playing with Aerith. I'm fulfilling my duty as a soldier to protect. Oh, Mr. Soldier, I heard you're making a flower wagon. I'll help you make it real fancy so you can surprise Aerith. No, no, this isn't what you think. This is for her protect. Hey, hey Song! Sometimes I really love like getting into character. All right, so I need tools, wood, tires, tires, and instruction. So the Shinra building, sector eight, sector five slums. Okay. Let's see, we're still missing tools, wood, tires, instructions. We should get some tools first. We might find some on the ground. There's some perfectly use useful stuff just lying around here. We might as well just take a look at whatever. Oh. So yeah, we're just gonna have to just keep taking a closer look at stuff. All right, got some tools. There you go, soldier guy. That's a great find. With a set of tools like that, you can build anything from a flower wagon to a Shinra robot. We should get some wood next. Something sturdy yet attractive. Hmm, where can we find wood lying around? Oh, in the slum market. Okay. Thank goodness they have the boy like boy like kind of guiding us along at the same time. Cause I wouldn't like the game told me like where to go, but I would have zero memory about that. Okay, so now we're here in the slums market. So I hate that he said like next to that one place. Oh, what do you think you're doing? This just lying around is yours. It was not just lying around. I put it there. Who are you? What do you want? Well, mm -hmm. a flower wagon for a girl named Aerith. See, I'm a carpenter living in the Section 7 slums. I'm here at Sector 5 to buy some materials. I can give you some of my wood. Really? That would be great. But on one condition. I'm uh, building a bar in the Sector 7 slums. I want you to come up with a name for it. A name for the bar? Mm-hmm. A name would give me a visual image to work off of. I've been racking my brain for some time, but I can't seem to come up with anything hip. That's easy. Seventh Evan, a piece of paradise in Sector 7. Seventh Heaven. Hmm, it's simple. It's a nice concept. Yes, I can picture it. There'll be a young girl tending to the bar. Sounds good. Yes, yes. And with a big bosom and long legs, just a killer figure. <laughs> yeah, now you're talking. And underneath the bar is a secret room, an underground hideout. Now that's perfect for a slums bar. It would be a perfect base for an anti Shinra group. Um, I kind of work for Shinra. Soldier, in fact. <laughs> anyway, I like the name. I'm getting all sorts of visuals from it. Thanks, Bor. I'll give you some of my wood. As promised. Nice work, soldier guy. You found some wood. I knew it was somewhere in the market, but I couldn't exactly remember where. Looks like we're getting there. Let's look for tires next. Oh yeah, of course, that car. Hey, just don't run off like that. What car? Was, was there a car anywhere? My guess is that that car is maybe in the park. It's, it's very interesting because they're like really making you like understand where you're looking in the uh, slums. Because otherwise, like, 
I wouldn't know where any of this stuff is. I'd be walking around each area and I probably would have to cut around. All right, let's see. Is there a wrecked car here? I can't go that way either. So I guess... I can either check the second Sector 5 market again or I should head up to um, Sector 7. It's so hard keeping track of all the areas in Midgar. But, um, don't think this was the spot that I wanted to head to just quite yet. Um, it might be better for me to meet you guys back once I figure out where the heck I'm supposed to be going. I hope that you're it. I really hope that you're it. You're not. Oh, you are it. What do you think, my man? Don't this monster make you all time to tingly? I'm looking for parts to build a wagon. So I got this favor to ask you. A favor? I see. So you're trying to build a flower wagon for this Aerith girl. Tell you what, my good man. You can have these. These tires can withstand speeds up to 140 miles per hour. They're precious to me, but I'm venturing on your success. Oh, hey, big guy. Wow, you find towers, tires, that great. Lastly, the instructions. I mean, who would know how to build a wagon without instructions, right? <coughs> Oops. Hee <laughs> hee. And I've already got a book with instructions with me. What are you looking at me for? I didn't steal it. Where'd it go? Oh no, I don't have it. I put it in my carrying case because I knew it was important. What kind of carrying case? A uh, Shinra army mask. I picked it up in the slums. A uh, Shinra army mask. I remember seeing one recently. Maybe you accidentally dropped it in. He's gone already. All right, you guys already know that I see, I've seen that Shinra mask. Um, So I'll just meet you guys back over there. We've already spent enough time cutting away. So I guess this was their way of having me like kind of rebound back over here. Because I knew that this was where the Shinra mask is. And how to build a wagon. So this is where I dropped the mask. I'm sure glad you found it. Why'd you put it in a thing like that? Because no one would think that there's a treasure hidden inside a Shinra army mask. It's called Street Smarts, big guy. Okay, we got everything. Why don't you head on over to Aerith's place? I'm going home. What? You're not coming along? Yeah, right. I know better than that. I'll leave the rest up to you. <laughs> Let's do this again. I'm sure you'll find more stuff if you look all over Midgar. See ya. I guess so. Why don't you go see Aerith? I bet she's waiting for me. All right, let's go on ahead and see her. Hopefully nothing super eventful happens because this, this recording's already at 35 minutes. I just want to see a cute little flower wagon by the end of all this. I also want to cure my silence just in case I have to fight. There, I'm fully healed. Welcome back, Zack. Looks like you got everything. Let's start making the flower wagon then. So how is it going to look? Are right, about to have this big old wagon? It's looking really good. The materials are matching perfectly. Y'all already know I'm about to have to mute the audio here in a second if it plays. Yep, going to have to mute the audio. Wait, what? Okay.
I'm Zach. Legions of monsters have spawned near original Mako reactor. The workers have all gone missing. Local soldier operatives have also vanished. The company is dispatching additional operatives to investigate the matter. You and I, that is. Roger that. Oh, we're, we're additional? What's wrong? Well, you know. I thought you found something out about that other matter. The missing operatives were the ones tracking Lazard. <laughs> also, they had reported a strange pod-like device in the area. Is that Maybe they're resurrecting... Hollanders? Probably the same device that was stolen in Modeoheim. Meaning... Lazard? Hollander? It all connects. And Genesis? We'll have to go see them. Hmm. Let's go. First... Go to the soldier floor. We'll depart as soon as you and the rest of the men are ready to go. Understood. Our orders are to investigate the reactor. Mm -hmm. They mention nothing of old friends. Depending on what happens, I may abandon Shinra. Huh. Until then, I'll remain loyal to soldier. You know, I'm kind of really feeling for Sephiroth here, actually. Nobody seems to be coming. Oh, hey, Zach. I heard you're going on a new mission with Sephiroth. I have also received new orders to inspect the Ma uh, the Mako Re Maker Reactor at Fort Condor. Looks like we won't see each other for a while. Yeah. I guess this is goodbye. Hey, why the long face? Are you that sad to see me go? <laughs> I'm sad because <laughs> I love you, man. Aw, oh, I didn't know you cared. Hey, hey, quit joking around. It's that girl in the slums you're thinking about. You still have some time, right? You should go see her before you leave. Don't worry about it. I'll explain everything to Sephiroth. Kensei is like grade A like MVP. But I think now's as good a time as any to go on ahead and end things off. So guys, next time on Crisis Core Final Fantasy VII, we're going to go head off on that operation to go see what exactly is going on because there's a lot so thank you guys also very much for watching i hope to see you guys in the next one